Did you know that Yosemite National Park covers an area of over 750,000 acres and is home to some of the tallest waterfalls in North America? It attracts over 4 million visitors annually, and it's easy to see why. Welcome to the ultimate three-day Yosemite National Park travel guide. This video will explore the best sights and activities this natural wonderland offers. From towering granite cliffs to lush meadows and ancient giant sequoias, Yosemite is a treasure trove of natural beauty. Our task is to pack all the must-see locations and activities into a three-day itinerary, ensuring you make the most of your time in the park. So join me, Alice, and let's dive into the detailed itinerary for each day, including recommended hikes, viewpoints, and experiences to make your Yosemite trip unforgettable like my visit last year. Day one. Yosemite Valley. Let's start with a visit to Yosemite Valley, the park's heart. Begin your adventure by hiking the Mist Trail to Vernal and Nevada Falls. This trail is known for its misty conditions created by the mighty waterfalls. What a refreshing way to start your trip. Vernal Fall, standing at 317 feet. And Nevada Fall, towering at 594 feet, are two of the most stunning waterfalls you'll ever see. Bring a rain jacket, as you'll get pretty wet on this hike. After that exhilarating hike, head to Tunnel View for an iconic panoramic valley shot. You'll see El Capitan, Bridal Veil Fall, and Half Dome from one breathtaking view. Fun fact, El Capitan's vertical face is a favorite among rock climbers and is considered one of the world's ultimate challenges. As the day winds down, take a leisurely walk around Yosemite Village. You can visit the Yosemite Museum and the Ansel Adams Gallery to learn about the park's history and see incredible photography. Remember to stop by the Yosemite Valley Visitor Center. Here, you can gather valuable information, join a ranger-led program, or watch a short film about the park's history and natural wonders. Day two, Mariposa Grove. On day two, we venture to Mariposa Grove to marvel at the giant sequoias, some over 2,000 years old. Did you know that the grizzly giant, one of the largest trees in the grove, has a base circumference of nearly 30 feet? Take the two-mile hike to see the famous California tunnel tree, carved in 1895 so that stagecoaches could pass through it. With their thick bark, these massive and incredibly resilient trees have survived countless fires. In the afternoon, hike the four-mile trail up to Glacier Point. The trail offers spectacular views of Yosemite Falls, and once you reach the top, you're rewarded with a stunning vista perfect for photography. Glacier Point sits at over 7,200 feet, giving you a bird's eye view of the entire valley. And now for the critical moment of our trip, reaching Glacier Point at sunset. This viewpoint offers a breathtaking panoramic view of Yosemite Valley, Half Dome, and Yosemite Falls. Watching the sunset here is an experience you'll always remember. Remember to bring a blanket and snacks for a sunset picnic. There's nothing quite like enjoying a meal with one of the best views in the world. Enjoying the video so far, be sure to check out my website for money-saving travel tips and tricks and the must-have travel gadgets. I have included the link in the description below, along with the top 10 travel items I don't travel without. Day three, Mirror Lake. It's all about exploring the less traveled paths. Start with a morning hike to Mirror Lake for a serene reflection of Half Dome. This is an excellent spot for a peaceful breakfast picnic while enjoying the stunning reflections. After enjoying Mirror Lake, consider taking a trip to the Yosemite High Country. Drive to Tioga Road, which offers access to stunning alpine scenery. Stop at Olmsted Point for another incredible view of Half Dome from a different perspective. Then drive to Tulumni Meadows for some high country adventure and wildflower spotting. Did you know that Tulumni Meadows is one of the most extensive high elevation meadows in the Sierra Nevada? It's also a fantastic place to see alpine wildflowers and spot wildlife. While in the high country, take a short hike to Lembert Dome. The climb is steep, but the 360 degree views from the top are worth it. You can see the entire meadow and even spot some distant peaks of the Sierra Nevada. If you're into water activities, consider renting a kayak or raft for a leisurely float down the Merced River. It's a unique way to see the valley and cool off on a hot day. 
In the evening, return to Yosemite Valley and visit the Awani Hotel, a National Historic Landmark. Enjoy a relaxing dinner in its grand dining room, which hosts presidents and royalty. If you're looking for some nighttime adventure, join a stargazing program. Yosemite's clearer skies and low light pollution make it an excellent place to view the night sky. Rangers often host astronomy walks where you can learn about the constellations and the park's nocturnal wildlife. For a unique experience, consider taking a moonlit hike. The full moon casts a magical light on Yosemite's granite cliffs and waterfalls, creating an otherworldly atmosphere. Always check the park schedule for guided moonlit hikes. Yosemite National Park is a natural paradise with endless opportunities for exploration and adventure. Whether hiking up to towering waterfalls, wandering among ancient trees or soaking in stunning vistas, every moment here is magical. I've also selected two videos for you on the end screen that I think you will really enjoy. With that, I will see you in the next one.